Today we pay tribute to a legend uh, in the Formula One world, uh, three-time world champion uh, Niki Lauda passed away at the age of 70 two weeks ago and at the Monaco Grand Prix they paid tribute to the, the Austrian legend by you know wearing red caps and Mercedes running with a red halo uh, on this edition of their, uh, their all-time record-breaking Formula One car. Uh, so, if you guys don't know who Niki Lauda is, a uh, best way to go and figure out is obviously read some articles online of what kind of person he was, very blunt, pretty much as blunt as a prick, and go watch the movie Rush made in 2013. Um, and you will get a proper understanding of who he is and why it's such a major loss for the sport. Rest in peace, Niki. On to the BMW 1 Series. For many, many years, ever since the BMW 1 Series was made, in fact, it was the only rear-wheel drive hatchback you can buy. But still, it was the only hot, hot rear-wheel drive hatch? Hot rear-wheel drive hatchback you could buy. So, pretty much the only sporty rear-wheel drive hatchback you can buy. And thanks to that, you could slide it around like a lunatic. However, BMW has been feeling pressure from the likes of VW, Renault, Audi, Honda for ages to make a rear wheel, uh, to make a all wheel drive or front wheel drive um, competitor, you could almost say. Because the thing is, the One Series was a bit of an oddball. I mean, if you didn't want a rear wheel drive car, you wouldn't buy it. Or if you thought the car was too impractical, thanks to all that, the diff and the extra. Um, shafts running underneath the car, it actually took up quite a bit of space. So, you can imagine that BMW was feeling the pressure, and I'm sure sales were feeling the pressure as well. So, behold, the pressure has finally given way to this, the new BMW 1 Series. Now, first thing to note, that this car comes in only all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive, and here in South Africa, we'll be getting two versions, the front-wheel drive 118i and the all-wheel drive M135i. Okay, so for those who don't know, the, the previous top of the range 1 Series was called the 140i, which means that I think BMW might be saving that for a bit more higher performance 140i. I'm hoping so. But unfortunately, it will probably use the reworked version that's in the current 135i, which is actually pretty powerful itself. Here's the figures here on screen. Expect prices to start from just over or just under half a mil. I'm expecting it just over. It's based off the Mini Countryman, which is no surprise there. The X1 is already based off a uh, Mini, and so is the X2, uh, along with the 2 Series Active Touring, which was a fail in South Africa, thank goodness. And yeah, front wheel drive or all wheel drive, so yeah, we bid you adieu, Ray Will Drive 1 Series. Next story, um, once again, it's a bit sad again. Oh, I just keep on, ah, guys, this is a very sad episode. I'm really sorry for the return of Ezekiel News to be a bit sad, but this is what's on the news. There is hope at the end, way at the end, like off the screen, kind of at the end. <laughs> but we have to say goodbye to another um, amazing car. So one series, rear wheel drive is gone, and the Audi TT is gone completely. There's gonna be no new replacement for the Audi TT. Um, this news doesn't come as a shock as Audi has been pushing their electric e-tron brand, and they think that their future is electric, which is unfortunately the trend with most manufacturers these days, including Ford, which is axing pretty much any small sedan, hatchback, or any form of passenger car apart from SUVs, buckies, or pickup trucks, as those who in America know, know it as. So, let's just think about it. Uh, the hairdresser car is no more. Unfortunately, that uh, hairdressers will have to buy a Mazda MX-5. I kid, it's not a hairdresser's car. But the stigma uh, when the Audi TT first released that it was a very uh, more feminine, a man wouldn't be seen driving it. And since it was released in the late 90s, that stigma sort of, sort of stuck for the first generation's life. The second and third generation obviously elimin eliminated that altogether. But we will still miss the Audi TT, especially in forms of the TTS and the TTRS which hosts probably the last, um, apart from the RS3, the last amazing small car to have that amazing turbocharged five-cylinder engine from Audi, which, whew, well, 
Say goodbye to 300 kilowatts, well, nearly 300 kilowatts, and a zero to 60 time that rivals some supercars. So, yeah. <laughs> but, guys, our, the small coupe spider style, small sports car is not completely being killed off thanks to this the Audi e tron GT. Now, all I'm going to tell you is that it has 440 kilowatts of power. It has a um, 0 to 60 time of 3.5 seconds. All-wheel drive, obviously, some sort of quattro fancy electric talk victory stuff. And we're not too sure if we expect it to see on sale, uh, here in South Africa especially. But at least it's not, it lo the TT lives on in the memories of those who buy an e -tron GT, if it ever comes on sale. If it, here, yeah. it won't come on sale, yeah, sorry. But, Somewhere there in Europe. Anyway. And next story, which is luckily not sad, it's just news. A new Opel Corsa has been leaked. Well, when I say leaked, these look like press images to me, so I'm not going to say it was leaked as such. It shows a car, an electric car of some sort, being plugged into some sort of wall socket that Peugeot designed for the image. So we know there's going to be an electric one available, probably not in South Africa, and probably in the form of a hybrid if it does make it to South Africa. Um, but what's very interesting is that it's definitely going to share the same platform as the 208. And I don't know, maybe it's just because I know that Opel is owned by Peugeot, but I saw elements of, like, a few hints of the 208 in the design. So it'll probably share the same CMP platform that the 208 has on, the new 208, obviously, and use some sort of hybrid engine, electric engine that the 208 is using, and a 1.2 liter three-cylinder three engine, or a 1.5 liter diesel, or a one liter turbo found in the little Adam, and also in the current Ash, uh, Opel Corsa. Hopefully Peugeot allows uh, OPC to sprinkle some magic on the new Corsa, but I highly doubt it, and I wouldn't hold my breath because the new uh, the Corsa the current Corsa that we have here in South Africa never actually got the OPC treatment, got some GSI treatment, which is shout out to South Africans who know what the GSI badge entails, um, but it never got an OPC treatment like the previous generation, and the current generation Astra still is yet to see an OPC variant, which once again we probably won't get, unfortunately. Um, well, at least here in South Africa. They got a VXR, a whole bunch of variants there for the Vauxhall brand in Europe. Why? Peninsula, we like it too. But, here's the good news. For those of you who don't like VW GTIs, uh, specifically the Golf, Hyundai is bringing 50 i 30 ends to South Africa in the second half of 2019. Yes! Guys, we begged them. A couple episodes ago, I'm going to put in the link somewhere. And you guys can go check this out. We were busy talking about, I think it was the, the new Corolla, which is out now. And it looks like the concept pictures, which is good job, Toyota. But we begged Toyota to bring the sport version of that and bring the i30 in. Uh, well, Hyundai to bring the i30 in. And they have. Yes, 50 is not a lot of units. But that means that yeah, we were able to see it. Blasting down the N3 or even William Nickel or even Saki traffic, which means we get to. Guys, this is good news! This is good news! For the first time, this is Hyundai's hot hash answer to the GTI, to the Pacific Type R, well, somewhat, to the Ford Focus. Think about it, that's amazing! And the McLaren RS. And the way this car has been praised by most of the reviewers that actually have driven one, this is fantastic! Guys, you guys need to celebrate. Like, for those of you who love the i just type in the comments a thumb or like or whatever. Or do something in the comments, okay? Just celebrate the i Just like i you Just put in, 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 in. Everyone will be putting F. Forget F. Put in. In. Gosh. And you know what's fantastic? Is that the, <laughs> the, the man desire behind the N is from M. No, are you with me? The man who like created the i n or created Hyundai's N division or who's heading up Hyundai's i N division, N division, is the man be behind BMW's M division. Well, he used to work there. So how can this exactly? You know this car is going to be amazing. And it has uh, fake sounds pumping into the cabinet, cabin because that was BMW's thing. Unfortunately. It's powered by a sweet turbo, thank goodness, which is putting, um, putting 202 kilowatts 
That's golf rival, golf R territory right there. You know, golf R has four wheel drive, there's only front wheel drive. And yet, still, it handles like a champ, according to reviewers. I have not reviewed it. I want to. Whoever you buy tonight at the end, post in the comments below. Post in the comments below. You know. <laughs> you know. And yeah, let me take it for a spin. I don't have insurance. <laughs> I can't be like the fastest car to win with the e So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, torque is sitting at 350 pay in units and meters, only to the front wheel, blasting the car from 0 to 100 in 6.1 seconds. Guys, that's amazing! For the first time! That I to the end that they did, it wasn't really a performance, they just put an exhaust, and I felt like it was only, they just put an exhaust to make it sound more, more. and it had uh, obviously bigger hose, uh, a nice body kit, you know, the I to the end. I know, there have been a few homing in the South African streets, but <sighs> this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I'm, I'm just looking at the news here, guys, and I'm just... <laughs> so, guys, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Korea come and lock them. It'll probably be expensive, so... Expect easily a million. Half a million, sorry. Half a million. Um, and tell me, yeah, actually, tell me which one of you guys like. Do you guys like the GTI? Uh, stable, yet boring, because it's common GTI. Or do you like the I30N? Because it's different, unique, and it's taking the fight to the German. <laughs> Yes! So guys, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry for the exciting and sort of spilling all over with that last bit, but it's really exciting. <laughs> Have a wonderful day guys. Cheerio. Bye.